Hey YouTubers, Glenda here. Um, just wanted to make a quick video. This is Wednesday morning, July 21st, uh, and I'm getting ready to go to work. But um, I wanted to make a quick video to address something that's come up a number of times. Sometimes people send me videos from time to time about uh, other ministries and things like that, and uh, wrong teachings, false doctrines, whatever. And I was praying about this and asking the Lord about um, you know, where we stand with things like that. And I wanted to share with you what the Lord has shown me. Uh, not long ago, I made a comment about another ministry. This was months and months ago. And um, that ministry attacked me. And they attacked me pretty heavily. And I was praying about it one day, and I asked the Lord, I was like, what is the deal? You know, they're attacking me. And the Lord spoke to me. And He showed me that I was wrong to make that comment. Whether or not what my comment said was true made no difference. What the Lord said to me was, you don't need to judge a ministry any further than whether you yourself want to listen to its teaching. That's it. I want you to stop right there. Nothing else. He said, you open that door yourself. So, unless that rule is different for everyone else, uh, you know, that might be something to think about. Uh, you have to seek the Lord on your own behalf about how far you should go in judging other ministries. But here's what I believe he showed me in scripture when I was praying about it this morning. Uh, you know in Romans 2.1, it says, Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, but thou that judgest doest the same things. Um, a lot of times you will judge somebody for doing something, and a couple of months later you'll look up and find yourself doing the same thing. That's kind of God's way of saying, hey, uh, you're not perfect either. So that's something to watch out for. And, you know, James 4.12 says, Who art thou that judgest another? You know, who are we to judge anybody else? Are we perfect? Because I don't know about you, but I personally do not feel like I am perfect enough to go out and judge uh, even other people, much less ministries. And here's one of the reasons why. Um, I am just trying to get my own self sanctified and my own life straight. And I walk every single day trying to do everything right, trying to walk in holiness, you know, reading the word, praying, spending as much time with God as I can. I'm not sure where in there I'm supposed to find time to go around judging ministries and spreading stuff about ministries that are out there devoting full time to ministering for God and trying to bring people into the kingdom. Whether or not they're doing it perfectly, um, we don't know because none of us have it 100% right and that includes you and that includes me. Our doctrines, theologies, whatever. We need to judge the word and, you know, read it and, and ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us. And we need to judge that for our own selves, how we believe. But we don't need to judge that for how everyone else should believe. Because we could be wrong. What if you're wrong in how you believe? And then you're telling everybody else, oh, well, you're wrong to believe that. What if you're wrong? We need to be asking God if we're right. Um, I personally don't have time to judge all the other ministries that are out there. Anyway... You know, it doesn't take a very big person to find fault with someone else or with someone's business or their ministry or whatever. That's kind of a cowardly thing to do. What really takes courage is to look at your own life. Um, and I'll just submit that to you to think about. Um, you know, we're all going to stand before the same God on Judgment Day. And whoever it is that you think is doing or teaching something wrong, they're going to stand before the same God. And they're going to answer for whatever they're doing, right or wrong, especially if they're called to teach, because teachers are judged uh, harder. God said that, you know, he basically will look at them more. I don't remember the, what the scripture says, but you all know which one I'm talking about. Um, you know, I think we need to look at what are we doing for God, and not just saying, oh, they're teaching that wrong, they're doing that wrong. What are you doing for God? What am I doing for God? Are we doing anything? Because if we have time to spread vicious gossip about ministries, I think we have time to be doing something for God. And I think we need to be doing something for God and not, you know, bashing everybody else. You know, if you think they're wrong and you really want to do something about it, pray for them. Pray that God will show them wherever they're in error. I want, if, I, if you think I'm in error, I want you to pray for me, that God will reveal truth to me because I don't want to teach anything wrong and I will not ever intentionally teach someone wrong anything about God or the Word of God. 
because I can answer for that, but also because I don't want to spread lies, I want to spread truth. That's why I try to tell people about God and what He's done in my life. I don't really consider myself a teacher. I'm just trying to share what He's done for me. I don't know any teacher who intentionally would ever teach anything wrong, knowingly. And I think that we need to look at these ministers and these groups and these other individuals in love. And we need to pray for them. We don't need to bash them. We need to pray for them. You know, Satan is the accuser of the brethren. If you're accusing, you're working for Satan. You're not working for God. You're working for, you're doing the devil's work. And, you know, in Mark chapter 9, there was a time when the disciples went to Jesus. And um, they said, you know, um, we saw somebody casting out demons in your name. You want us to go stop them? And this is what the Lord showed me when I prayed about this this morning. And Jesus said, Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is on our part. If Jesus himself did not condemn another ministry, even though they weren't doing it perfectly, they didn't really know him, but they were trying to help people get free. Who are we? Jesus himself didn't condemn them. We go, stop them. Their theology is wrong. Their doctrine's wrong. They're doing it wrong. Stop them right now. Jesus didn't. If he didn't, and he's our example, are we supposed to? I don't think we are. I do not think we are because clearly the master did not himself. And he is our example. You know, whatever we sow, we're going to reap. If you sow gossip and you sow accusation, that's what you're going to reap. If you're sowing fault finding and criticism, that's going to come back into your own life. It's going to hurt you. You know, anybody who's been out there doing that, you need to start watching your back because it's going to start coming back around and people are going to falsely accuse you and they're going to criticize you when you're trying to do something good. It's going to come back on you and it's not fun when it does. And I just want to say a quick prayer for everybody. Father, I just pray right now in the holy and majestic name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that you would help us to search our hearts, Lord. Instead of searching others for faults, help us to search ourselves, Lord. We pray, Father, that you would shine your holy light into our hearts. Reveal our sins to us, Lord. Help us to be busy cleaning up our own backyards, Lord. Not the backyards of somebody else that we think is wrong. Help us, Father to look on others with love and to walk in love always towards them, Father. If we feel their teaching wrong, help us to remember to pray, not criticize. Let our lips be sealed in that regard, Father, that we would not sow bad seed, but that we would continually walk in love. Father, if there are big ministries out there and they're teaching wrong or doing wrong, if enough of us pray, Father, I know you'll reveal to them and you'll correct the situation. But, Father, I pray that you bless those ministries, Lord, that they would be able to go wider, Go more places, have more offerings, and do more for your name, Father, if their hearts are right with you. Judge the motivations of our hearts, Father. Show us, Lord, if we are wrong. Show us the weeds in our own backyard. I think we've all got plenty of weeds, Lord. I'm sure I've got weeds in my backyard that still need to be weeded, Lord, and I pray that you shine a bright light on them, that I can offer them up to you for help. Help us to walk in love, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray you all have a good week. Let us stop and think before we offer up criticism or accusation or slander towards anyone, especially someone that, that appears, even appears to be trying to do God's work. If they're even trying, we should be helping them, not criticizing them, not slandering them, not turning people against them. What would Jesus say if he was standing in front of you and he saw you doing that, what would he say to you? If he himself did not criticize another ministry, what would he say to you? You know, the only people that Jesus couldn't help were the Pharisees because they thought they were so perfect that they could point their fingers at everyone else.